have no idea what's going on, but there is a major traffic situation here. It looks like there's some new construction, and the left two lanes of this three-lane road here in North Wichita are supposed to be shut, and they're trying to get people to move over, but then, I don't know if there's a wreck up there or what, because the people on the on-ramp are also backed up. Also, I'm an idiot and forgot my camera, so it's iPhone today. Uh, it's about 7.30, should be at the casino by around 8 o'clock. I may play like a nit today because I want to watch the Knicks and Celtics on my phone. Plan to stay till 1 or 2 whenever it seems to die down. Uh, gotta get up in the morning. School's out until 2018, so no sleeping during the day. Me and Max got to be hanging out, so. Well, that's a good thing. It wasn't a wreck. I guess it, I guess it just uh, was construction. Anyway, onward. Jeez, 33 degrees out right now at just past 8. <laughs> Makes me laugh when I hear people in Las Vegas talk about how cold it is. Ugh. Now I have to go all the way back outside and I parked kind of far away. Forgot my damn e-juice. <sighs> Nicotine addiction is terrible. It is 11.18 in the p.m. This place is kind of cool. Look at this hallway. Uh, boom. Been in the game for about three hours. I just got up, and when I got up, I came back to check something, and I just realized my table just got really good. But I figured I would do a little update. Uh, first interesting hand, I am early position with pocket threes. Um, I limp in with my pocket threes. Two, three other people limp. The button, who is a very new player to the game, it seems like to me, makes it 20 to go. It's the first time I've seen him raise in about a half an hour uh, that he's been there. I, along with three others, call, uh, so about 80 to the flop. Flop is king, 10, 3, with two hearts, so we're loving that flop. And we're about to check it when the button puts out a bet of $85, leaving himself about 190 behind D we go into this whole deal where the dealer explains to him he bet out of turn his bet stands yada 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 <laughs> well the the small blind <laughs> just open mucks after he does the the guy's gonna put 85 dollars in since the bet does stand everyone else everyone checks of course the bet stands folds back to me I rip it all in, put them all in for like 190 more. Everyone else folds. Of course, he snaps it off as I figured he would. I, I fast roll my threes on the flop, and he thinks that the uh, the king <laughs> made his day after seeing my flop set, uh, the the turn king, and he slams over ace king. Uh, the river is a brick, some sort of an offsuit low card, and my hand is good so unfortunate for the gentleman who got excited there uh, on that hand 
Uh, next interesting hand. Uh, this time I am in early position again. This time I have pocket fives. There's a limper in front of me. I limp in, trying to set mine. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. A lot of these guys aren't going to raise pre-flop unless they have super premiums. There is, I think, one more limp in middle position. The button raises it up to $12. Uh, the big blind calls. I call. And the middle position limper calls as well. Flop comes out really nice. It is five, four, eight. A heart and two spades. And this time I think I might have misplayed this a bit. My thought process was most people know the button is tight. And I figured if I put a bet out there, then I, maybe I get a call and then he might just cram it all in there over the top with an over the over pair. Anyway, so it checks to me, I bet out $35. The middle position player folds, the button calls, and the big blind folds as well. The turn uh, is the ace of hearts. So I put it in for the dude's last one, 110 or so. And he folds pretty quick, quickly, so probably lost a bit of value on that one. Um, but, you know, sometimes we don't always play perfect. And the third hand of this little mid-session update also involves a flopped set. So I am under the gun with pocket kings. I make it $16 to go. Folds all the way around to the small blind. Uh, this guy's very loose passive. Uh, he's got about 3.30 in front of him, I cover. He makes the flat call. Flop comes out. Ace, nine, seven, rainbow, I believe. Check, check on the flop. The turn is a queen, bringing on board a backdoor flush draw. This time, the small blind bets out $15. He leads for 15 um, I'm not going anywhere to that, and he's also shown multiple times that he will check the flop and then lead out small on the turn with middling pairs, so I make the call. Of course, uh, the river is, I believe, an offsuit for, no flush comes home, and this time he leads out, he leads out for $25, the small blind leads out for $25. And the alarm bells are going off, I th I, and I think about it for a bit. Um, it's the first time he's really increased his bet, but I eventually make the call. It just seems too cheap to me. I'm not good enough to fold there. And uh, he shows us pocket aces, so a sigh of, a sigh of relief for me. A little disgruntled that I made that call, but a sigh of relief that uh, our opponent in the hand didn't decide to raise it up pre-flop because if he did we'd have just got stacks in before the flop and i would probably be in a little worse mood by now hey that's called running good man that's the kind of running good you you don't think about uh as much as you know sucking out getting lucky that kind of stuff but anyway uh game is good and i'm gonna get back in there i may play till three or four today i'm not sure uh, just to see see how how it goes. It usually slows down a lot after after two o'clock in the morning. Uh, up in the game for four hundred. Um, up about one eighty one ninety right now. So let's keep it rolling. Oh, <laughs> can't start poker room. Well, that, oh, wow, they have a picture of the old poker room. Right back out here, it is just after one o'clock, and the old winning streak, which I have tried not to talk about so much, but I think it's definitely starting to affect my play. It is in jeopardy. Like I said earlier, worked the stack back up to around 600, so it was up about 200 or so, and then I started getting bluffed. Frustrating. So I'm in middle position with pocket queens. 
one limper to me, I make it seventeen dollars. Uh, young taggy kid on my direct left makes the call. Uh, the button makes the call as well. Folds around to the limper, and he also calls. Flop comes out king king four with two hearts, and the limper bets out twenty dollars. Uh, I think about raising, but there's two people left to act after me. It's not a lot out there, but I just flat call, and the kid to my direct left puts in a raise. I uh, think he makes it about pot size, 75 or 80 bucks. Button folds, the limper calls, I make the fold. I forget what the turn was, but it goes check, bet by the taggy kid and the limper lays it down. The taggy kit shows 10-7 suited, uh, bluffing with air, and it worked. A little bit later, the hand, I've been bled down a little bit. I'm at around 520 in the stack. Uh, table has become short-handed. We're six-handed. The lineup's changed a lot, and a very, uh, very tight, almost nitty kid raises to 10 in middle position. I'm to his direct left and I look down at pocket jacks. I three bet to 35. Folds around, it's heads up. Flop comes 10, 5, 3. I have jack of spades, jack of hearts with a spade and two clubs. He checks to me. I put out a C bet of $40. He makes it 150. And I think about it, and this kid's really tight. I don't think he has a lot of suited calling cards, really. I don't think he has a lot of bluffs in his range. So I fold, and then <laughs> this guy, <laughs> funny guy comes in. This dude sounds like Tone Loke. He says, show that bluff. And sure enough, kid rolls over pocket eights. So good play. I'll look into play till about 4 o'clock. We'll get back in there and see if we can play solid poker for two hours. <laughs> Chip point. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well. All good things must come to an end. Bled down a bit. Mostly raised with can't see bet type hands. Got into the game for 6.50. It is four o'clock in the morning and the last interesting hand was the last hand of the night uh late late night game i think eight seven eight handed anyway i opened to 15 bucks middle position player uh taggish eh, kind of loose aggressive my friend Devin uh, calls, folds around to the one of the blinds, and makes the call as well. East King Spades is what I have. Flop comes four, five, seven with a club and two spades. The player in the blinds, who's a guy who he likes to donk bet with strong hands, draws, and middling hands. He donks, he donks pretty good. He donks $35. I got two overs and a flush draw. And he has a little under $200 left uh, after his bet. I started the hand with 390, I think, something like that. 395. But with Devin still to act, I thought maybe I reel him in. If I hit, I can get a, a little bigger payoff. But Devin folds. Turns glorious card. It's the Ten of Spades. So I got the Ace High Flush. Or in the in the small blind, he doesn't slow down. 
he bets a uh, hundred and hundred dollars I think he has like like I said like 95 left or so so I ship it in and he calls pretty quickly I fast roll the flush and the river is a four so that pairs the board and somebody says nuts uh, about my hand <laughs> and somebody else says new nuts and that is all she wrote for the night that was gonna be my last hand anyway it's four o'clock I gotta go so 23 degrees right now my hands about to freeze so in for 650 out for 71 negative 579 the day. All good things must come to an end. At least I got half a sub sandwich, Mr. Italian Sub, and my only friend.